Hello, welcome to Gospel Faith Television UK. My name is Pastor Jimba Alex, and the topic for today is the devil lives in this our world and planet Earth. The devil used to live in heaven, but that's like millions and billions of years ago. But today, if you was to be asked, where does the devil live? You might find that as a complicated question. But I'm here today to, to reveal to you or to explain to you that the devil was kicked out of heaven and he lives in this world with us. 100%. But, but the truth of the matter is nobody in this world knows exactly where the devil lives. So each one of us in this world, we've got addresses, we've got abodes, we've got houses, we live at addresses. But if I was to ask you the question, where does the devil live? Nobody knows exactly where the devil lives. So I'll give you another example. Buckingham Palace is situated somewhere in, around St. James's Park, Victoria, in between those kind of areas. Trafalgar Square is in the city of London. The ex-national stadium in Nigeria it used to be in Surulere, now it's in Abuja. These, these, these institutions have all got addresses. But the question I'm asking you today is, where does the devil live? He lives in this world somewhere. Does he live in Indonesia? Does he live in Africa? Does he live in Europe? Does he live in Australia? It's important that we find out today where the devil lives. So I say it again, the topic for today is the devil lives in this our world and planet Earth. He doesn't live anywhere else. The devil doesn't live in heaven because as you know the story goes or the story went, Lucifer was kicked out of heaven. So when he was kicked out of heaven, he wasn't kicked out of heaven to live in heaven. Uh, that would be stupid. Or that wouldn't make sense. The devil Lucifer was kicked out of heaven to find an abode or an address or a house or a living place somewhere else. And that place was planet Earth. You got to understand that the devil himself is way older than human beings. So that means before we were created into this world, the devil was already living in heaven, having a relationship with God. Probably before God thought of creating human beings, the devil was already there, living millions of years ago. So in terms of age, and in terms of years, we, we, we can't compete with the devil. The devil is far and way more older than human beings. What I'm gonna say now, you might find it hard to believe, but it's the truth. The devil himself is far more intelligent than human beings. When I say the devil is far more intelligent than human beings, I mean that the devil is far more intelligent than ordinary human beings. This is why Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself said, he said, unless a man or a woman be born again, you can't see the kingdom of heaven. Now, when you're born again, you're not an ordinary human being. 
So when I say that the devil is far more wiser than ordinary human beings, I mean that the devil is not wiser than the born again Christian. No, he's not. So if you want to be wiser or more intelligent than the devil himself, you got to become born again. Unless a man be born again, he can't see the kingdom of heaven. Jesus Christ of Nazareth said that for a reason. Unless a man be born again, he can't see the kingdom of heaven. Did you know that the devil himself used to live with God. That is serious, man. The devil used to live with God. So just like you live with your physical parents, or maybe you used to live with your physical parents, or maybe you moved out because you're an adult, but you used to live with them. The devil used to live with God. You used to talk with God, you used to share jokes with God, you used to reason with God. He was a, a holy angel. The devil used to see God face to face. Yeah. He used to say, Welcome, God. Hello, God. How are you, God? He used to see John face to face. But the devil eventually got kicked out of heaven, which we all know. And when he got kicked out of heaven, he's hanging in the atmosphere. That is deep. Where is the atmosphere? The devil is hanging in the atmosphere. The Bible says that when God created the world, the world was empty, void and deep wow imagine this the world was empty void and full of the deep oh. so that means when the devil got kicked out of heaven wow the devil landed somewhere in the atmosphere in the deep In the void. He landed somewhere. We're getting there. He landed in the atmosphere. So when I say that the devil got kicked out of heaven and he landed somewhere in the atmosphere, it means that the devil landed somewhere in the atmosphere in this world. Just like when God created the world, the world was void and empty and deep. That deep is part of the atmosphere. That emptiness is part of the atmosphere. So, so when the devil landed in the atmosphere, that atmosphere is in this world. You see, the devil has got advantage over human beings because the devil lives in this world Mysteriously, the devil lives inside of this world unseen. The devil lives in this world unseen. All right. The devil lives inside this world without a body. That gives him an advantage over human beings. That's why the devil can get away with evil in this world and the devil can't be seen the devil can't be arrested by the police the devil can't be put in prison the devil's not a physical being and, and you got to understand <laughs> this is serious man the devil is angry with human beings the devil is not joking with human beings because the devil is on a mission. Now the question is, if the devil is angry with human beings and the devil is on a mission, what is this mission? Tell me, what is this mission? I 
What is the mission of the devil? The reason why the devil is angry and the devil is on a mission to ruin the whole world and human beings is because all the love that God used to have for the devil, God took his love away from the devil. God snatched his love away from the devil and God shifted it. To human beings. <laughs> God shifted all that love that he used to have for the devil. He shifted it to the human beings. I even got a bit further. God shifted all that love that he used to have for the devil. The God don't love the devil no more. And he shifted all that love to the born again Christians. Unless a man be born again, he can't see the kingdom of heaven. That's what Jesus said. In other words, Jesus Christ is saying, unless a man be born again, God don't have no love for you. I can imagine God showing the devil the blueprint in heaven. And God is saying to the devil, listen, I've got a plan. You know? And the devil said, what's the plan? And God is saying to the devil, listen, I want to create a new kind of species. And these new kind of species that I want to create, they're going to be called human beings. And I'm going to create them in my own image. That's what God told the devil. The devil didn't like that when he saw the blueprint of what God was about to do. God said, I'm going to create these human beings in my own image and they're going to look like me. And they'll be gods of the earth. The devil said, what is that? What am I hearing? The devil went crazy. God was looking at the devil. Thinking, what, what have I ever done wrong to the devil? The devil went crazy. Because God showed him the blueprint of how... <laughs> of how he wants to create human beings. A new breed of species. Into this world. And they're going to look exactly like God. So when the devil looked at himself, and the devil looked at God, but they to see each other face to face, the devil thought to himself, as pretty as he was, he wasn't created in the image of God. He had the wings. He wasn't created in the image. He was an angel. He said, no, 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 I don't like The devil was heartbroken. The devil was heartbroken. He didn't like it. The devil was heartbroken. Don't forget the topic for today is the topic for today is the devil lives in this our world and planet earth. He doesn't live anywhere else. He don't live in heaven anymore. So when God showed the devil the blueprint of what he's about to achieve by creating human beings in his own image, as from that day. When God achieved it and God created human beings in his own image and human beings look exactly like God and they were so beautiful. And God said to man, go to earth and replenish the earth. As from that day the devil set out to destroy the whole world. on that day the devil wanted to, de to destroy the whole world and he was going to do it unseen that is very problematic that is very dangerous the devil has set out to destroy the whole world that he lives in unseen I I imagine if you lived in your house 
by yourself. There's no one else that lives in your house. And your house is fully furnished. And one day you come back, your front door's not open, no windows open, nothing is open. Your, your house is exactly the same way you left it when you left, but your fridge is not there. And you're thinking, wow, my fridge is not there. Everything is in order, but the fridge is not there. No one opened your door. No one opened your window. No one came through the roof. The, the fridge is not there. And you say, okay, this is a bit confusing. I don't really understand it. The fridge is not there. Okay. So maybe it's a mistake anyway. And you leave it, and next week you come back, your 47 inch TV that's in your living room is not there. But no one came into your house. The, the front door's not open, the windows are not open, no one broke into your house. Your king size fridge is gone within two weeks. Your 48, your 48 inch television is gone. You begin to wonder, um, what's really happening here? Things are, are happening to you mysteriously, and they're happening to you unseen. Okay. You go and report it to the police, and the police, they take a report of this. Okay, we know, yeah, this thing's been missing, blah, 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 blah. And the police come to your house, and they do a couple of traces, and they write reports. The fridge is gone, the king size fridge is gone, um, king size television 48 inches gone. But no one broke into your house. And the, the police are put on their gloves and they're trying to detect. There's a word for that, but I can't remember that word right now. They say, okay, don't worry about it. We will look into the case. And then three weeks later, your big pot of a goosey soup that you left in your kitchen and you love that soup. There's chicken inside that goosey soup. There's goat meat inside that goosey soup. <laughs> There's no buruku inside that egusi soup. There's maggi and crayfish. The, the egusi soup, mm, even when you're at work here, you're dreaming of that egusi soup. When I got home, when I get home, I'm gonna eat that. You have you have like a solid pounded yam in your kitchen. And now you get home, maybe you're singing, we are the world, we are the truth. You're happy because the pot of soup is waiting for you. You open the front door, you lock the door. The first thing you do is go to the kitchen here. Your pot of egusi soup is gone. <laughs> The plan the jam is gone. The question you're gonna start asking yourself is, who's doing this to me? This is exactly what the devil is doing in this world. He's committing crimes on scene, he's committing crimes and he's getting results, but he doesn't have a physical body, he's a being without a physical body. So that means man is in trouble. The only way to detect the devil is by becoming a born again Christian. Then you begin to see the things that a normal human being can't see. You, you, you gotta fight the devil in the mysterious. Listen, when God kicked the devil out of heaven, the, 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 the devil didn't fall into Jupiter. That wouldn't make sense. There's no people in Jupiter. Or the devil didn't fall into Mars. You don't have no business there. They don't have to fall into this world. Because it's after the glory of human beings. So my message to you today is that the devil landed on planet Earth and he lives in this world with us, but we can't see him. He's an unseen being that has set out to destroy the whole world. And he's been doing it for millions of years. Listen, the topic for today has been the devil lives in our world and planet Earth. I hope you've enjoyed this topic, yeah? Just subscribe to my channel, Gospel Faith Television UK, and get your friends and family, at least 10 of your friends and family, to subscribe to my channel, and there's a miracle waiting for you. Thank you. The name is Pastor Jimba Allen. Yeah! Yeah!